Okay, my name's Simon Eagles, um, and I'm one of the business development managers at Exa Networks. I got into a digital career um, a long time ago. It sounds quite strange. I was in the military for 10 years, um, and I was uh, a forward observer in the artillery. Um, and that role required you to be actually having a visual um, view of a target, whereas there's now there's a lot more technology around, but you had to have an individual there, and they would bring down um, targeting systems onto targets. Now, that requires communications. And it was towards the end of my career that the, the military was really transitioning from being unsecure and using code books and all of that to more secure environments where we could actually create some encryption. So it wasn't, it wasn't that it was digital in a way that, that really attracted me. It was the fact of the mechanics of making that happen and then the benefits of that because that changed the way we could do things tenfold. You know, things and messages could be passed incredibly fast. So that's kind of what got me interested initially. Um, yeah, it, it, the fact you just don't know what's going to happen. You know, there are different things happening all the time. You know, we, you know, I know there will be some fantastic thing that will come out next year. I don't know what that is yet, but I know there'll be something. And there'll probably be 10 or 15 or 20 of them. So it's that, it's that uncertainty, but it's in a bright space. These are not bad things that are coming out. You know, there's a lot of gloom and doom talked about using the internet. It's a tiny part of the huge piece that's just enabling and allowing us to do far more than it ever holds us back. Did I think there was barriers? Um, no, there are barriers in everything in life. There, there, you know, it, there wasn't a lot of education going on, if you like, in that space. I didn't, because it was new, there was nothing taught. It was self, a lot of, all of us were self-teaching at the time. Was that a barrier? Well, no, no, I think in the end it ended up being a benefit. So they're not barriers, it's just how you use where you are in that space at that time. Do, do I have a message? Yeah, don't be scared of it. You know, don't be fighting. You won't break it. Uh, you, you know, I, I, see, I see people often think, oh, yeah, I'm going to break the internet. You know, I mustn't do Don't, make the mistakes, absolutely. There's nothing in there, nine times out of 10, can't be undone. Unless it's your online banking, then do be very safe. Um, but, you know, don't be scared of it. There's, there's an element of, um, and we're as guilty. We use all the buzzwords, you know, and it, that can be terrifying. You know, there's all these acronyms flying about. They're not that clever. We, we make them seem that way because we work in that space. So we can kind of be terrible for that. Don't fear it. You know, absolutely don't fear it. And, and I think that's sometimes, you know, something people have to overcome. You know, you're not, you're going to break it. Get on there. Do this, do this stuff. Get involved in that environment. Don't be shy to ask questions at all. You know, ask them more, you know, throw them all out there. But yeah, don't, don't fear it. It's 3%. It's a small percentage. Um, you, you know, you actually think, you talk about the cloud computing piece that's exploded. It takes a lot of people to build those buildings, service them. There are engineers. You know, we have fiber optic engineers. Big shortfall at the moment. You know, fiber optic engineers, the equipment's there, but we don't. But that's an engineering function, but it's in the digital space. So we need to stop thinking digital space as a web developer. It's not. It's 3%, 5%. Brilliant jobs to be in, but there is a whole industry that, that runs behind that to make that web developer allow him to do what he does. So if you think you like working with your hands, it doesn't exclude you from the digital space. If you like being on the road and being out there and, and installing fiber optic cabling, well, there's no web, web requirement there. You, you, know, you can be in those spaces, but still be in the digital space. So we don't want to, we don't want to stick the digital space as being that little bit. It's huge, it's massive. So definitely, you know, if you like wear your hands or you want to be out, you don't want to be sat in an office, the digital space still has a place for you. In fact, really big space for these people. They probably don't understand that. So if you, you know, they're making decisions about engineering, well, I want to work in the digital space, I won't go into engineering. No, it's completely the opposite. Go into engineering because it's needed in the digital space.